This is Duncan Mango. It's another Florida variety. The fruit tend to hang in clusters like this. It's a fairly late variety. Very productive and very popular. In 1960, Duncan Mango fruited for the first time on the property of David Sturrock in West Palm Beach, Florida. The variety was so productive and the fruit were of such high quality that Mr. Sturrock patented it. Mr. Sturrock believed Duncan was a Pico Edward Cross. Others thought that Saigon was a parent. Pedigree analysis in 2005 indicated that Namdok Mai was a likely parent. But Namdok Mai was not even introduced to Florida until the 1970s. It might be that Pico or Saigon or another Indochinese type mango has DNA which is very similar to Namdok Mai and was actually one of the parents of Duncan. Duncan is a vigorous, medium-sized mango tree with good general disease resistance and fair resistance to anthracnose. The variety is reliable and very productive. Often the fruit hangs in large clusters. In Florida, Duncan is grown commercially on a small scale. It has good handling characteristics when green, but ripe fruit can be bruised fairly easily. Of interest to people who grow mangoes for their own use, Duncan is usually not damaged much when it drops from a tree. So let's pick a couple Duncan. This one is very ready to pick. It has some a sort of striping, yellow striping. Uh, that particular one is very noticeable uh, all the way down to the bottom. The stem is a little bit brown right there but this one is definitely ready to pick. So there's that that stripe right there. So, now you have to be careful with Duncan because it does uh, turn color in the sun. This fruit right here, this is actually sun uh, burn or whatever. You have to look at the bottom of the fruit and also for that stripe down the, the side. So this one, even though it's yellow up top, is not ready to pick. So this is another Duncan that it has the stripe forming. So that's ready to pick also. Oh, just fell off with a little turn. So, both of those, whoop, let me show the stripe on that one. Ready to pick, even this one's a little further behind, maybe a day or even a half a day, but they, they both are at the good point to pick. show you this yellow stripe is always good to, to see that as it goes down to the the uh, bottom of the fruit it's a good indication it's ready to pick and as you might have noticed it just fell into the basket when I just nudged it I didn't pull it all so that one would have dropped off on its own in a, within an hour probably
Duncan mangoes normally ripen in July and August. Typically, they weigh between 16 and 24 ounces. Duncan is a fiberless mango with many characteristics of Indo-Chinese mangoes. Its skin is yellow and lacks a blush. The skin and the flesh near the skin is bitter. Its orange flesh is soft, sweet, mild, and juicy with an Indo-Chinese-like flavor. Also, like many Indo-Chinese mangoes, Duncan is slow to develop off flavors after it's ripe. Tasting evaluations rate Duncan as good to excellent.